What's up guys? So I recently picked up some hammer bullets. Uh, these are 124 grain 308s. I have been hearing lots of good things about the hammers um, and I have been curious about the best all copper kind of bullet design. These are what I've been using. These are the cavity back bullets MKZ. Uh, this one is missing a pedal but three pedal design, uh, big expansion, big holes in animals. Um, but I've been curious about ones that actually shed some pedals, you know, could they help you make up for bad shot placement if the pedals, you know, still hit the vitals. Um, so I was able to shoot some gel the other day, so let me show you that video and we'll get into examining the gel. Here is the shot from the 124 grain hammer. This is from my AR-10 with an 18 inch barrel. Uh, I was getting 3000 feet per second. The accuracy was not what I wanted it to be, but I had the magneto speed on the gun. And from what I've been reading is you really need to crimp them because the short bearing surface um, really just doesn't have a lot of neck tension. So the next time out, I'm gonna crimp them and probably load them a little bit deeper and we'll see what happens. I'm also gonna shoot them out of my, um, my Ruger American, but if you look, the bullet went in, you know, an inch or two, opened up. And the thing I'm kind of seeing here is, you know, it looks like the bullet mushroomed to begin with because there's no fragments here, but it's obviously disrupted. It's doing tons of damage. There's no real fragments coming out until here, which is about halfway through the block. So you got a little fragment here, then some big ones. And then up here, we got a couple more. So it's still shedding fragments even at the 16 inch mark um now i only had this one block so i did not capture the bullet so i'm definitely gonna you know test these again but just to do a quick little comparison this was the block that i shot with the 6.8 um, with the 85 grain cutting edge bullet so you can see with this one the pedals all broke off at the same time they broke off about here and you got six pedals it just went whoosh. um so you know that's very uniform and these you know are advertised they shed six pedals with the hammer there's nowhere in the advertisement that says how many pedals they're intended to shed. So I don't know if there is an intended number, but it doesn't seem, you know, very uniform. Like I don't really see many going this way. They seem to all kind of go that way, except for at the top where these two split. Um, so just like a quick comparison is this, I think, would be explosive. The first, you know, couple inches of the wound track. So if you're shooting a coyote or something, this might actually work better. Or this one... You know, the wound tract definitely continues and carries further out. So big, any bigger animals or a quartering shot, you know, this could work. I had a deer this year. Um, I shot it with my 6.8 using the cavity bag 120 MKZ. And that deer, it, um, it turned right as I shot. And I ended up shooting it pretty much right in the ass cheek, you know, right in the ham. And that bullet went through the rear leg, up through the guts, through the, you know, the vitals. And I found it under the skin on the opposite shoulder. So it went through like four feet of deer. If I took that shot with this bullet, you know, these pedals would have never made it anywhere near the vitals. They probably would have stopped in the guts if they even made it that far through the back leg. And all you would have had is a little base making it to the vitals. So I don't think that would be that effective. That's where I think this bullet would shine. Um, and this is also, you're know, talking about three weight for six eight, so not the best comparison. But either way, I want to test these some more. I'll keep you guys posted on the results. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.